finally, Star Allies. Let's do this. I'm pumped. Let's start the game. You got the Kirby game? Can I play? Um, yeah, yeah, just go get a controller. I can't just use yours. No. Mm -hmm. Fine, fine, okay. Um, get my own controller. It's gonna be fine. Two players, that's fine. Yeah, Kirby, two players. Dude, you got the new Kirby game? Let me play, let me play, let me play. Uh, let me, let me yeah, no, that's that's fine. Uh, yeah. three three players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this will be fine. This will be fine. Well, I wanna play. You, oh, um, yeah, no, okay, Ooh. four people. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Kirby, oh my gosh! Let's go. You didn't tell me about the Kirby game. I wanna play. No, no, okay, guys, Kirby is only four players. Somebody has to go. Salutations, welcome to the Toka Show, where... Ah, it's Kirby! Kirby, look at him! Look at that suck. Look at those waterfalls. He can be anything. Everyone wants to be his friend, and look at those freaking shoes. Ah! <coughs> Excuse me, there's something in my throat. <clears> throat. Kirby Star Allies came out last week, and boy was I excited. This is only my second Kirby game, after I played Superstar with my friend Darson last year. And boy was I ready for more. Now, did this game live up to my expectations? Well... The game starts with this gorgeous opening cinematic of Kirby sleeping. Wait a second. Link always starts his game sleeping too. And that one ability makes Kirby look like Link. And on the Star Allies box art, Kirby's mouth is the Triforce. Kirby is Link, confirmed. Basically a bunch of evil mind controlling hearts get sent everywhere that mind control everyone on planet Popstar to do the bidding of Lord Highness, who wants to resurrect the Dark Lord. Now you might ask yourself, why does Lord Highness want someone whose name is the Dark Lord to be alive and destroy everything? How did the Dark Lord die in the first place? And who came up with the name Lord Highness? That's just contradictory. And where did these mind control hearts even come from? I actually have an answer for all these questions. Don't think about it. It's just a video game. If you have played any Kirby game before, you know how Star Allies plays. Uh, okay, any Kirby game but that one. No, not that one either. Any of the main line Kirby games. What even is that? Basically, Kirby is a platformer. You run and jump and get to the end of the level. The main gimmick though is that Kirby can suck up anything and anyone. This goes for small enemies and blocks that he can spit back out as stars. I'm not even gonna ask about how that works. And larger enemies that he takes abilities from. Also, not gonna ask. And that's it. You use the abilities Kirby obtains to solve puzzles and murder other enemies. It's a very simple gameplay setup, but at the same time, it's so fun and rewarding. You can also now combine some abilities together like fire and sword to make flame sword, or water and sword to make water sword, or electricity and sword to make electric sword. Honestly, it's not a very fleshed out feature. The amount of combinations you can make is very small. Most of them are just adding one element to a weapon like a sword or a yo-yo. The most interesting one was ice and rock to make a hockey puck. It's cooler than it sounds. It's a still very enjoyable part of the game, but I would have loved to see it taken further. But that was really my only complaint with the game. It looks gorgeous and pushes the Switch's color palette and graphics to its fullest potential as of now. And a lot of that has to do with the varied environments. The levels range from green plains to snow to caves to space to factories to fall the place, and so much more! I never got sick of looking at this game. The music is astounding and ranges from nostalgically charming to calmingly epic. I know those last two don't go together, but once you listen to some of these tracks, you'll understand. The game is a blast and a half to play through alone, but I will always prefer playing Kirby with a friend. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Mom, I have friends! And for the first time, you can play with three other people. Oh, what? It's not the first time? Return to Dreamland? 
Okay, fine. Well, for the second time ever. That's that's still pretty exciting. I also love the Jam Bastion mages, Larry, Curly, and Mo, or something like that. They were all decently interesting characters and provided some cool boss fights, which this game needed more of. I mean, all the bosses were charming, but none of them provided even a shred of difficulty. The best boss in the game was this one that required you to do more than just wail on him for a minute. He has two bomb arms that you can cut off with the correct ability and then blow him up. It was a great boss fight, but sadly, aside from that one and maybe one or two others, he was the only one. At first, it felt like the game wasn't very long, but at the end of the day, you have 40 pretty expansive levels full of secret areas, puzzles, and enemies. Which, for a Kirby game, isn't bad. Every level does have a special hidden puzzle piece and a handful of normal puzzle pieces to complete these drawings that look like they were drawn by my six-year-old sister, and some of them have hidden buttons that unlock new levels. You can 100% complete the main story campaign in about six-ish hours, and yes, while that is pretty short for a full $60 game, there are a few other modes that can get your money's worth. First off, there are two mini-games, Chop Champs, where you and three other friends mash a button or swing the Joy-Con as fast as you can while dodging worms to cut the most wood. It honestly doesn't provide much fun after about five minutes. And Star Slam Heroes, which isn't much better. You and three other friends get to hit a button or swing the Joy-Con at the correct time to hit your meteor the farthest. This one is more fun, but still only about five minutes of enjoyment. The other two real modes are Guest Star, Question Mark, Question Mark, Question Mark, Star Allies, Go. Kinda a dumb name, and the ultimate choice, the former being a hub for replaying most of the game but only with one set ability and some allies. It provides some interesting gameplay and makes you use the ally ability more than you probably did doing the main campaign, and the latter being my favorite secondary mode. The ultimate choice is essentially a Bosch Rush mode where you and three other allies have to fight a multitude of the game's bosses back to back with little to no heals and you can unlock plenty of very hard difficulties that really make you think of some new tactics and bring some skill to the table. This mode is for you haters who say Kirby is too easy. All in all, I really enjoyed Kirby Star Allies. It's a great game to play alone or with a bunch of friends. Yes, for $60, you don't get that much bang for your buck, but hey, not every single game can have 100 plus hours of content in it. Essentially, if you like Kirby, you will love this game. And if you've never really liked Kirby at all, Star Allies isn't going to change your mind. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and as always, please consider subscribing to my channel, The Toka Show, and giving that bell a ding -a ling ling so you are notified for whenever my new videos come out, which, by the way, is nearly every day now. I have a new review going up every Tuesday, Let's Plays on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I also stream on Fridays, and every Saturday, I'm in the Yeti Bros podcast with some other YouTubers. Definitely check out that channel. We talk about video games and answer your guys' questions. Finally, why not follow my Twitter and join my Discord server, so you can be a part of the Toka tribe. Well, that's enough from me. See you in the next episode.